tech stuff, guys. Uh, we have a few things to talk about. Uh, for one thing, Facebook is testing a way for users to schedule deletion of posts. Why? Because <laughs> they need to be like Snapchat. Is this a Snapchat thing? Is that what we're doing? I You're just saying something to piss people off so that you know it's going to piss people off. And then it can automatically be deleted. Is that it? Because I can't see any other reason for this feature. Like, I know I'm going to say something that's really fucked up. And I want to make sure it gets deleted after everybody sees it. Because that's the only thing I can think of. Like, you're just there to cause trouble and then automatically delete it. Like, it, it could be yeah, an interesting... Well, well, you know what posts I could see deleting? Like, the, the ones for, hey, win this. And enter mm. this contest by being X. Yes. You know what? I have a I have a client that I put out on Facebook like once or twice a week. It's a coupon because I'm adapting their PDF newsletter to Facebook, basically. Um, mm -hmm. So there's a coupon that pops up and it expires like at the end of the month. Wouldn't it be great if 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 somebody not that you really go to a business and go down their Facebook page, but still you could just have like all the coupons disappear after the end of the month when they're expired. I guess, I, okay, I take it back. I mean, I guess if you're promoting a live event and you have maybe a link to a live stream of some sort and then that stream's yeah, no longer there, yeah. you could have it There's no reason. that away. There's no reason to go to live.sorotronmedia.com after midnight tonight because we're done by then. You no, should. you got to come back next Monday. That's true, but they're going to go there and they see an empty chat room and they see a sad Ustream yeah. feed. Um, I guess the YouTube, they, the YouTube will still work. So, <laughs> I mean, that, you know, we're talking about what to do with that. Maybe I will leave that, like, unlisted, but there in the embed in case anybody wants to go back and watch it. People can relive our Tuesday night podcast day whenever they want the rest of the week. It's a service. And I also have to figure out how to work it into the stats, which I'm still trying to figure out. Um, anyways, I... I don't know, but it looks like they're uh, running the test with a small number of users on iOS devices. So this is not a brand thing, although great ideas for brands. But again, it has to be Snapchat. It has to be something like that. Yeah, or they, wouldn't it be great? Just... But what are you publishing, like Snapchat, <laughs> to your public feed? There, well, is it public? You know, it can be personal. You could, if somebody knows how to use Facebook, they could say this is just to my friends, or this is just to a certain person. You know, um, or or I. But if you already have those settings set up, then you shouldn't be worried about deleting the posts. True, true. There, there's it's a just for people to start shit. I'm telling you that I can't like for a personal reason. I can't see unless you're there. But then again, it'd be for promoting something. Yeah. That's the only reason where I see. Be great. I mean, the only reason I brought up the promoting was because I mean, Facebook has to trigger, figure out a way to monetize it. They're not. They're not going to do anything that's just going to not make them money. <laughs> I have a pronunciation <laughs> of Carnegie <laughs> in the chat room from from Does This Hold Up? Great podcast, by the way. Look them up on Stitcher. Uh, <laughs> um, but, it, but, it's the, but in the, are you talking? Yeah, in the chat though, the way he has it, it's not. It's not. The pronunciation because it's Carnegie or Carnegie, so it's how fast well, Carnegie. You say it. I think it's the user way like, to say where's Carnegie. The, where's the emphasis? Carnegie. You replace that e after the m with an a, and that's the Pittsburgh way. <laughs> that unintentionally rhymed. But <laughs> what are we doing? It. What are we doing? What's happening here? We're talking about drug tests. We're talking about how you say Carnegie. That's, that's what you know. What that Facebook. just that just feels good to me to say it that way. Um, and but but again, back to but on the Facebook note, I mean, they aren't going to do something that's not going to try to generate them money, and that's that's why I jump to the. It would be nice for, or maybe it cleans. I mean, I'm sure they're keeping the posts, so it's not like it's saving them money on the back end by not having to keep a bunch of posts around. So I, yeah, I don't that know. The only, the only thing I can come up with is for for advertising or or promoting something. Ah, uh, it'll come. I don't know. It, it is interesting. I think they're they're going to keep poking at more of these experiments. They're going to become Google ish, Google ish with this experiment thing. Except more annoying. Except more annoying, <laughs> and there'll be more take this away posts. I guess. Um, bipartisan. I saw this app on Colbert this week. <laughs> 